Hello all, this video is on programming STM32F411 using QYDE. The STM32F411 is a line of ARM Cortex M4 board with 100 megahertz CPU. And we will be using serial wire debugging that is SWD pins and ST-Link debugger. ST-Link debugger V2 is used in this uh, video. This is an in-circuit debugger de programmer. And the pins used are SW, CLK, DAO for data pin, ground and 3.3 volt. It goes to one to one connection, clock to clock, data to data, ground and then 3.3 volt. Uh, then we have to install the STM32 cube ID and the stealing driver will be installed along with it. Click on new project and uh, select target. Uh, select MCU and then search for STM32 F411 CEUX. CEU6 is the IC we are using, that is a black pill. Select that IC and the right hand side select the proper uh, uh, IC list, that is F411, and then provide a project name and click on next. The language selected is C and then the program type is STM32 cube. That is all a default and then click on finish. Now you, you may be asked for an upgrade. Uh, this is only first time, uh, well, only during first time it lasts for uh, upgrade. You have to log into your ST account. From the IDE go to my ST and then provide your uh, uh, mail ID and then password and login. Now you will get the pinout configuration. You can zoom out the picture and then select PC13 as PC13 is inbuilt LED. Select PC13 and select as GPIO underscore output. You will get a pin mark on that. And the next selection is clock configuration. We will be using internal oscillator. So we are not doing any setting in this clock configuration. And then click on save. You will be asked for an upgrade. Now click on OK and then uh, the upgrade process will go on in the background. That is downloading selected uh, software packages. This is only uh, one time, uh, that is the uh, first time it will ask. And finally you will get the ID and the project. The project is created for you. That is the blink test project. And in the left hand side, the project explorer, all the header files are uh, seen that is automatically generated by the IDE, all the header files. And under SRC, you can see the .c file, that is a main .c file. This is the code generated by the IDE automatically. This is the system generated code where you can see the header files are included and then system clock HAL underscore GPU initializations. Here in this code, we are using STM32 Cube HAL, that is hardware abstraction layer, which offers a high level and feature oriented APIs. The HAL is initialized using HAL underscore init. And then you can see the uh, never ending loop, which is while one. Here we are uh, going to use the user code. You have to write your code only under this while one. And in other places, you cannot write your code. And below that while loop, you can see the uh, functions that is uh, generated by the IDE, automatically generated by the IDE. There is a GPU initialization, clock initialization. And under this while one, you have to write your code using HAL underscore GPU and then press control space to get the intelligence and then select the right pin method. And the parameters for this are GPU port that is C. PC13 is we are using. So port is uh, C. And then again uh, press control space. You can get the uh, pin number. Select the pin number as 13. That is PC13 is the inbuilt LED. So GPIO underscore pin underscore 13. And then the set or reset. We will be using 1 or 0. So we will be using 1 for set. And after that, we use the HAL underscore delay one second. Copy this two code and then paste it. And select the and then change the one to zero. So we are switching off the LED after one second delay. 
now save the code and then click on run button so if you click on the run button it will try to upload uh, the code but uh, the first time it is asking for the stlink uh, firmware upgrade so click on yes and then a uh, next window will open that is a stlink upgrade window and click on upgrade it says uh, stlink is not in dfu mode now you have to put it in dfu mode for this press hold reset and then press boot then release the reset button and then release the boot button now the board is in dfu mode this is only for upgrade not for uploading the code so now the stlink um, upgrade is working and the firmware is being upgraded once uh, uh, finished it will you will be back to the ide now click on run straight away now the code is being uploaded uh, code will be automatically uploaded to the board through the stlink uh, dongle now you can see the onboard led pc13 blinking uh, one second on and one second off next we will change the delay time to 100 instead of one second it will change it to 100 millisecond and then click on run you can straight away click on run no dfu mode setting is required just click on run it will upload code will be uploaded directly through the stlink programmer and you can see the led blinking fast uh, 100 millisecond delay in the left hand side project explorer you do not see any dot hex file so while building you do not see dot hex file for that you right click the project go to properties and then another window will open you expand the c c plus plus build and then select settings under the settings and then which will open in the next window you have to go to the settings tab locate mcu post build outputs select that post build outputs and then put a tick mark against the convert to hex file you put a tick mark against this box and then uh, click on finish now you have to build again you click on ok select from uh, project build now you can see in the left hand side uh, project explorer the dot hex file is being generated you can see the dot hex file here so it will be also inside the debug folder of your project that is a uh, uh, under the debug folder you can see the dot hex file so using another cube mx programmer you can load this uh, hex this is another way of programming now install this cube mx uh, cube pro programmer stm32 cube programmer left hand side click on the drop uh, download arrow and uh, select the dot hex file uh, select the dot hex file browse to the dot hex file and select it on the right hand side uh, select st link and then click on connect so the st link uh, debugger will be connected now click on program to upload the code that is a dot hex file onto your uh, black pill board directly this is another way of uh, programming if you get the hex file thank you for watching